Yes, I am a dancer, and I'm in good company because there is a dancing king in the Bible, and that is pretty exciting stuff. In 2 Samuel chapter 6, we run into the dancing king. It is David, and I love this crazy story of just unrestrained worship. David is holding nothing back, absolutely nothing, in his worship towards God. He is so excited, and he just can't hide it. I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it. That's David. And he is dancing with all his might. There's just an explosion of pure joy. And as is often the case, when that happens, there are critics. There are haters. And here's what, what is, is going on. David is bringing the ark home. He's bringing the, the ark of the covenant back home where it belongs. And, and the ark is filled with God's presence. It brings God's blessing. So it's an extremely big deal. And he's basically bringing God back home where he belongs. So he is a little excited about it. He cannot contain himself. He is so happy about it. And, and so he starts dancing. And he dances with all his might, according to the Bible. And, and in other words, he's dancing with everything he's got. He doesn't care who's watching. It's not about them. It's about him and God. And he cannot contain the love and the passion that he has for God. And he strips down to his tidy whities Yeah, he strips down to his tidy whities Probably weren't this big. His underwear probably wasn't that big. But his love for God was even bigger than that. His love for God was huge and explosive and uncontainable. And he strips down to his underwear, basically, and he starts dancing like a rock star. Okay? Not necessarily the way you would expect a king to, to act, but that's what he does. And his wife, Michal, who is the daughter of Saul criticizes his passion. She starts mocking his willingness to go all the way. And she, she starts criticizing the fact that he doesn't really care what anybody thinks. She's the, the daughter of Saul, so she obviously knows how a real king should act. A real king should be dignified and worried about protocol and policy and maintain a certain image and a certain decorum. And David doesn't care about any of that stuff. All he cares about is God. All he cares about is just worshiping God at full volume. And he tells her this in verse 22. This is one of my favorite verses in the Bible. He says, I will become even more undignified than this. Turns out that God doesn't want a dignified king. God is more interested in praise than protocol too. And so he's all about that. God wants worshipers who are passionate and willing to be undignified. And Michal, it, the rest of her life, because of the, this episode, she's barren. The rest of the life, her life, she's childless. So no descendant of Saul ever regained the throne as a result of, of her criticism, as a result of her criticizing what God was doing in the life of another. Okay, And a lot of times we, we do that. A lot of times we see other people and we see their unique expression of worship and their unique expression of praise. And the tendency is to shut that down and to say, no, I've never done it like that, so you need to stop. That's not very dignified. God's not real dignified. And, and he's not. He's more about passion than, than protocol. So, so realize that worship God in your own way. Get your praise on. God wants worshipers who are passionate, who are willing to be undignified, who are more concerned with pleasing him instead of other people because it turns out worship is not about other people it's about God so he's the really the only one that matters don't worry about protocol don't worry about people and what they think worry about praise don't let people shut you down God bless you guys giddy up